The most recent Tu-214 aircraft constructed at the Kazan Aviation Plant, named after S.P. Gorbanov, a branch of PJSC Tupolev, a subsidiary of PJSC United Aircraft Corporation, under the state corporation Rostec, took its inaugural flight on the most recent Tu-214 aircraft constructed at the Kazan Aviation Plant, named after S.P. Gorbanov a branch of PJSC Tupolev, a subsidiary of PJSC United Aircraft Corporation, under the state corporation Rostec, took its inaugural flight on December 27, 2024, at the airfield there. As a VIP aircraft for the Russian Federation's Ministry of Industry and Trade, the aircraft was manufactured with factory number 035, serial number 535, and registration number RA64535. It became the first new Tu-214 aircraft to take off to the skies in three and a half years. The bulge on the top of the fuselage is probably a satellite communications SATCOM antenna dome. These domes contain antennas that enable the aircraft to communicate with satellites for internet access, phone conversations, and other communication requirements during flight. They are becoming more prevalent on modern aircraft. According to reports, the RA-64535 aircraft flew from Kazan to Minsk for painting on February 24, 2025. Rossiya Airlines is expected to operate this aircraft. The Rossiya Special Flight Detachment operates a significant number of Tu-214 aircraft. Rossiya maintains 13 Tu-14 aircraft, as indicated by the available data. Government and VIP transportation services are the primary applications of these aircraft. This aircraft is likely to be operated by Rossiya Airlines. Rossiya Special Flight Detachment operates a significant number of Tu-214 aircraft. According to available data, Rossiya operates 13 Tu-214 aircraft. These aircraft are primarily used for government and VIP transport services. Rossiya's fleet includes specialized versions of the Tu-214PU, Tu-214SR, and Tu-214SUS to make high-level government tasks easier, such as secure communication relays and command and control missions. In 2022, Russia prioritized domestic aircraft production to decrease its dependence on foreign-made aircraft in response to Western sanctions. The Tu-214's importance within Rossiya's fleet has been heightened as a result of this change. The previously built Tu-214 aircraft at the Kazan Aviation Plant was the Tu-214PU, which took flight on May 28, 2021. This aircraft, with factory number 4491234, serial number 534, and registration number RA64534, was presumably built for the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation. The Kazan Aviation Plant has built a total of 35 Tu-214 aircraft. The total number of Tu-204 and Tu-214 family aircraft produced in the USSR and Russia has reached 91 units since 1989, including prototypes. Meanwhile, four Russian airlines, S-7 Airlines, IR Aero, and Yakutia will receive four new medium-haul Tu-214 aircraft as early as 2025. By doubling its initial plans, the Kazan Aviation Plant will manufacture four of these airliners this year rather than the two that were originally intended. By means of 90 billion rubles in additional investments in production modernization, this was achieved with a flight range of up to 6,700 kilometers and a passenger capacity of 155 to 210. The Tu-214 is a wholly import-substituted aircraft that is powered by PS-90 engines. Time-tested design and relatively low production costs are among its advantages. Nevertheless, the aircraft necessitates a three-person crew, which includes a flight engineer, in contrast to its more contemporary counterparts, as numerous functions are not automated. Tupolev is attempting to refine the aircraft by reducing the weight, modifying the cabin, and creating a two-crew version. In the past, the company had plans for three potential new variants for its Tu-204 aircraft program. It included two cargo-based designs and a shortened fuselage, set to be designated the Tu-204-300. However, all the efforts are now for the Tu-214 version. The Kazan Aviation Plant intends to increase production of Tu-214 aircraft to 20 per year by 2027. In the past, Tupolev has faced challenges in delivering the Tu-214. 
The Arbitration Court of the Republic of Tatarstan is presently overseeing the lawsuit that Tatneft filed against JSC Tupolev. Tatneft is claiming unjust enrichment and is attempting to invalidate a clause in their contract by requesting 5.6 billion rubles from Tupolev. Tatneft's previous allocation of funds for the construction of TU-214 passenger aircraft, which never materialized, is the subject of the complaint. The hearing has been rescheduled for April 2, 2025, to facilitate negotiations between the parties in pursuit of an out-of-court settlement. Now, do you think TU-214 has a better future now? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.